Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport, ScooterWest.com here in San Diego. For all things Vespa in North America, check us out on our website. Right on to what we're going to talk about today, the foot peg on the Vespa GTS. It's been the same foot peg since they've introduced this bike as a GT200 or GT125 in other markets. It's a pretty trick fold-out design. These ones are customized just like the Vespa Note in all black on this customized scooter here. But one thing about them, they may flip out and be trick. They're very uncomfortable for the passenger. They're just in the wrong spot. Uh, if you ever had the opportunity to be a passenger or ridden as a, uh, the rider with a passenger, um, the passenger has got to make a long stretch to get their feet on these foot pegs. Pretty cool that they retract into the body, but practicality wise, not so good. Well, there's been a solution out for you. We have four different options. The originators of the foot peg extender, which pretty much moves the foot peg back, is the German made SIP aluminum foot peg blocks. We've been selling these for years. Solid aluminum, all machined out of aluminum in Germany. These are made in Germany. Really high quality product very solid, been a very popular seller. Shortly after we got these, we were sending them out to our own uh, production team that does powder coat, production powder coating for us. So we were selling tons of them in black finish for a long time. Part number on this is GTS 02 for the standard, all original German foot peg extenders. If you're looking for the black version of it, They started doing their own, the SIP branded uh, foot peg extenders, and they're in black. Very nice gloss finish. Doesn't tell you much when I'm leaving them in the bubble wrap. You see pattern just after the originals. A little bit slimmer design than the original aluminum one, but very high quality product with some uh, nice uh, machining on it. Have this available. Part number is GTS. O2 dash BK. And if you're looking for a more affordable option, we have our own house brand foot pegs. GTS O2 BK. And it's got our uh, Vespa Motorsport laser engraved. They're a little bit less metal, which in turn are lighter. They're equally as strong. You can stand right up on these things. Uh, they got the little design in them. Anodized aluminum. Includes the hardware. We also have them available in a gunmetal finish. That's very, very cool looking. So part number GTS 02 GY is gray. It's gunmetal. Very cool color, very similar to the titanium finish. You can see the black versus the titanium finish. Anodized aluminum. Let's get on to installing these and show you how they work. So first off, you need to remove the original foot pegs. They're going to be reused. Uh, it's a pair of uh, Allen fasteners that you're going to need a five millimeter Allen. You either need one that's really long like this, or you can get a standard L key that has a ball on the end would be helpful. The more difficult fastener is the one towards the rear. And you can see this long one kind of just barely gets behind everything in there. So go ahead and loosen one of them. I'm not going to take it all the way out. And then this front one, and loosen that. One thing, if you ever take the floorboard off, definitely makes the job easier if you take the foot pegs off. It is possible to take the uh, floorboard off with the foot pegs in place. So to remove the rear one, usually I'll hold the foot peg. I already have the front one that's easy to access with the foot peg uh, extended. And just kind of pull and keep the fastener in there. Otherwise it may fall into the frame, which isn't very fun. So you have a set of hardware right here, stainless steel uh, Allen bolts. It's going to need a long one and one short one for each side. And you're going to need a six millimeter Allen key to install these. The long one goes towards the rear and the short fastener goes towards the front. Go ahead and pre-install those. Get your six millimeter Allen and just Kind of feel your way around and get that started. Angle's pretty critical. 
and get started into the um, thing. Don't go ahead and tighten one of them. You want to get them both um, started. As with any fastener, you know, if you tighten one, you may have a misalignment issue with the other one. So go ahead and tighten those back and forth. You can snug those pretty tight. They are eight millimeter fasteners, very solid there. Now we can go on to pretty much installing your standard foot peg right in place of on the bracket. And then go ahead and install your second fastener. Again, I don't have that rear one all the way tight yet. And go ahead and tighten them both. And now you have an extended foot peg that's pushed back, I would say about four inches much more comfortable for the passenger on the back of the scooter. It still extend out, the pushed out a little further from the body work. It's a lot more comfortable, so your feet come right down here. So a much more natural position to be resting your feet as a passenger. It may not be the prettiest accessory because you're left behind with a big hole in the floorboard, but practicality, if you're doing any long distance with two up, these are definitely, definitely a must on the GTS. You can purchase all four of these variations of the foot peg extenders on our website, scooterwest.com. Just search for GTS 02. And you'll find all the variations. Whether you're looking for the natural aluminum with the high quality machine finish, it's been made in Germany, or you're looking for a house brand in both black and gunmetal finish, or the black originals as well. So super simple install. I think anybody can handle it. Just all you need is an M5 and an M6 Allen. Hope people find that useful. I've done a video on these prior. This is just an updated video with the four different variations we now have as of August 2019. Check out all our other videos if you're new to the channel. Search for Vespa Motorsport on YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Vespa Motorsport. You can subscribe to our channel. That helps us out. Looking to get lots more uh, subscribers. I think we're the number one Vespa channel on all of YouTube, which I'm pretty excited about. It's not something I ever look for. I just started doing these videos just for the fun of it, like Vespas. Um, until next time, it's Robot here, Vespa Motorsport, scooterwest.com.